this is Sarah with Posh Pooch Designs and today's video I'm going to show you how to make this fun little pumpkin jack-o-lantern. Now this can be a decoration or it can be a coaster. It has this nice little lip around it that holds the cup. You just slide your cup in and it keeps from sliding around. This will fit a wine glass, a coffee cup, cocoa mug, or even just a regular cup if you want to put a glass of beer or a glass of soda pop in it for a party. These are great little Halloween party favors. They also look good um, stuck on wreaths and other things. It's just a fun, simple little coaster pattern. What you're going to need is your H hook. You're going to need a needle for weaving in your ends and stitching on your face and nose and eyes. You'll need your scissors, and then you're going to need three colors of yarn. We're going to be using red, red, this is orange, <laughs> orange worsted weight, red heart yarn. We're going to be using a little bit of this bright green for the stem, and then we've got black for stitching on. Now, you don't have to do this in orange. You can do any colors that you want to. This is a pumpkin, so we're doing it in orange, but at Halloween, I've seen pumpkins purple, and other colors so just have some fun with it all right let's get started move him over here the first thing you're going to need is with your main color orange of course for our pumpkin you're going to need to chain five one two three four five then you're going to need to place nine double crochets in the fourth chain from the hook. One, two, three, four. The first three chains will count as our first double crochet, and then we'll put nine double crochets in that fourth chain, and that will give us a total of 10 double crochets for the center of our coaster. tail out of the way. We're going to need that just in case. A lot of times when you're working in the chain two or chain four, you end up with a little hole in the center. And we'll use this tail to close it, and I'll show you how to do that when we're done. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need three more double crochets. All right, now we're going to join to the top of that chain three with a slip stitch and chain three. One, two, three. Get a more yarn out here. Now we're going to place one double crochet in the same stitch as the chain three because it counts as our first double crochet. And then we're going to place two double crochets in each stitch around. And that will give us 20 double crochets. Another question that I had concerning this pattern was people wanted to know if they could use cotton yarn. And you most certainly can. You know, if you're going to use it for a coaster, it might be a good idea to make it out of cotton yarn. I did not find an orange when I was looking for a nice bright orange in a cotton. But recently, I noticed that the Peaches and Cream, I believe, has a nice orange. So that would work nicely. <clears throat> so we're placing two double crochets in each double crochet around. All righty. almost there <laughs> this is a really quick fun project and um, Halloween has become a way bigger party night than it was when I was younger because we just basically dressed up and went trick-or-treating and now there's so many wonderful parties and I like the idea of a party opposed to trick-or-treating because 
children still get to have fun and um, get candy and sweets and treats and also healthy things, but it's in a safe environment. So I kind of like that idea better. So we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 19. We need to do one more. Then we're going to join to the top of that chain 3 and chain 3. 1, 2, 3. And you'll notice I do have a little bit of a hole here. And once uh, before we put the nose on, I will show you how to close that hole up. So that's the second row. On the third row, we're going to be placing one double crochet in the first stitch, two double crochets in the next, and we'll repeat that all the way around. So our chain three, oh, I got a little bit of a knot. There we go. <laughs> and our chain three counts as our first double crochet. And so we're going to put two double crochets in the next double crochet. One, two. So then the next stitch, we're going to only put one double crochet. And then the next stitch, we're going to put two double crochets. One, <laughs> two. Now, you continue that on around, all the way around. And I'm going to get this knot out of my yarn. Now we've stitched one double crochet in the first stitch, two double crochets in the second, and we repeated that all the way around, one and two, one and two, and this will give us a total of 30 stitches. And now we're going to join to the top of that chain three, and then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Now this next row, we're going to be stitching in the front loops of our chain three row, or I'm sorry, our R3 row, row three. And the way we do that, and if you look close at the edge of my edge, you see a row, it looks like braids, and you'll see there's two loops. The front loop is the loop that is closest to you. The back loop is the one that is away. And we're going to be stitching in the front loops because we're going to be using those back loops when we add on the edging with the little legs and hands. Okay, so what we're going to do for row four, we're going to be stitching half double crochets in the front loops only. So yarn over, go only in that front loop, pull a, a loop up, you'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over and go through all three. And what this does, and you're only putting one half double crochet in each stitch. So we're working in the front loops, making one half double crochet in each double crochet around. And what this does is this forms this little ridge right here that's on our pumpkin. And that's where our cup goes, the bottom of our goblet wine glass or even the bottom of our can or whatever we're drinking will stay put because it has an edge. So one half double crochet in each stitch around. Once we have stitched one half double crochet in each stitch around in the front loops only, we're going to join to the top of that chain three the slip stitch and then we're going to chain three. One, two, actually we're only going to chain two because this is a half double crochet row. Now I will tell you that um, this row, this half row of half double crochets is an optional row. If you do not want the edge on there like this one has and you just want it flat, you can skip this row and go straight to R5. So what we're going to do We've chained two, and you can see here is our R3 back loop row, because we stitched on the front. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go down to that row and slip stitch. And that just moves us from here to there, basically from stitching on the top of the row to stitching on the bottom. And then just do one little chain one to snug it down. Now. Next, we're going to be making the little feet and the little hands. Real simple little petal 
stitches. So what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch in the next five stitches of these back loops of R3. So we're going to slip stitch the next five. So one, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to make our first little hand. And the way we do that is we're going to chain two, one, two. Now in the next stitch, still working in that back loop, we're going to double crochet three double crochets. One, two, three, then we're going to chain two, one, two, and then we're going to join to that bottom of where we made those stitches in that same stitch with a slip stitch. And then we're going to slip stitch in the next five again. So one, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to chain two and we're going to do it again. Three double crochets. One, two, three, chain two and join in that same stitch with a slip stitch and then slip stitch in the next five. One, two, whoops, I'm getting a little splitty there. One, two, let me go back. Three, four, five, chain two, one, two, three double crochets, chain two, join in the same stitch with a slip stitch. We've got, look at that, we've already got three on there. So now we've got to do our last one. One, two, three, four, five, chain two, three double crochets in the next stitch. One, two, three, chain two, join. And now we're going to slip stitch back to where we started. Make sure when you join, if you did this row with the edge, that you join across to that first slip stitch going over that little edge where we joined. Because if not, you'll have a little bit of a bump. Oh, I got a little knot in there. What a place to have a knot. <laughs> All right. So let's cut our string. work that knot over there. There we go. What a silly place to end up with a knot, huh? All right, now we need to weave that in. But before we do that, I want to show you how to close this hole up. So we're going to need our needle. We're going to turn it over. We're going to thread that piece of thread where we started. And hold it like this. And you're just going to go around those stitches on the edge of the hole. I got my string pulled. Snug it down a little bit. And I go ahead and I'll go around again, making sure it's nice and snug. Give it a little bit of a pull. And then at this point, 
I'll go up a stitch and then I'll go back the way I came like that just do a few more stitches snug it down and snip that baby off and then we'll weave this one in I've got a little knot on here so what I am going to do is I'm going to weave that in later because it's, it's a little more difficult since I have a knot and I only have a small piece of string so we'll just leave that like that and I'll weave that in later when I have more time okay so here's our little pumpkin guy so now we've closed our center we don't have a hole anymore and we have put on our four little feet two feet two hands and now we're going to join and put on our stem and the way we're going to do that is the four center stitches up here we're going to join our yarn with the slip stitch on the first one and then we're going to single crochet in the next three stitches so we have a total of four stitches then we're going to chain one and turn and you can see we have four stitches and now we're going to stitch the first two together so we go through yarn in, over go through yarn over yarn over go through all three of those uh, loops we'll do the same thing on the last two there's one two yarn over and now we only have two single crochets so we're going to chain one and turn and then we're going to chain, uh, not chain one, we're going to single crochet in the first one and single crochet in the second one and we're just going to chain one and turn and do that again one single crochet, one single crochet and that's it and now we're going to clip that yarn and tie off and we'll weave that in and we'll do that a little bit later I'm going to hide it behind there so you can see how that's going to look and that's how we do the stem now the last portion of what we need to do is the face and you can make your little pumpkin as scary as you want or as happy as you want it's totally up to you if you want it to be scary or if you want it to be happy and it can be both <laughs> The first thing we need to do, and I like to start with, is the eyes. So what I do is I sort of, you know, I don't have a set place I put them as far as measuring. I just eyeball it. And I try to go in a stitch, not a hole. And I just pull my thread up through. And I make a French knot. And how you do that is you wrap your yarn three times around your needle and just go right back next, not in the same hole, but right next to it. And just gently pull that through and there's your first eye and then I try to get my next eye about the same place um, only on the other side so that it's a you know a little bit even we're gonna wrap it three times go in a stitch right by it and there's my little French eyes then I'm going to do the nose and the nose is a little tricky you're gonna go up right in that hole and I make a triangle I go I, I making sure I go through a stitch I go like that then I go right back up and I do it again only make you know make sure you go through a stitch and you can make, of course, the shape of your nose any way that you want. And I just keep making stitches until that triangle is filled in. It's up to you how many that you make. Four or five usually does it. And then once I get my shape, I go to the bottom where I started. And I just go across just to kind of give it a finished edge on there. And that's how you do the nose now for the mouth I start on one side I make the first stitch following around and then I usually go ahead and make this edge of the smile so I don't have to come back around and this is where you can decide to make a zigzaggy mouth or a happy mouth or however you want to do it you know if you want a, a scary pumpkin oh you can do it scary you know just by making the eyes look a little more evil just it's just up to you how you shape it 
I just decided to do a happy smiley face. So my pumpkin is happy. <laughs> and the truth is, if you're not into Halloween and you want to use these for uh, coasters for even Thanksgiving or just a family get-together, you don't have to put the smile on at all. The key thing to making your embroidery stay where you want it to stay is when you're putting it on to make sure you go through stitches, not through the holes. And there, and there's a happy face. Now on this one, I um, did a little bit tighter knot, so these are kind of standing up a little bit. So and then I just go to the back and just attach it a few times, making sure my stitches stay. And of course, the stem needs to be, you know, tacked down. But that's how you make a happy little pumpkins that you can use for coasters. You can make a banner. You can decorate your house with them. Make, put them on a, on a wreath. Whatever you want to do. Super fun. Super easy to make. So, happy fall or happy Halloween. <laughs>